Hey everybody, this is Chris and this is my review of the drone pit stop case for the Femi X8 SE. Give you a look at the logo there. It's a nice embossed or raised, I should say, uh, logo. Sorry, the case is a little dusty there. But um, this is one of my favorite cases. They make them. They they make a lot of cases for your most popular DJI products, and then now they've started expanding, and they're making these cases. They make. Uh, I've got a review where you'll see the one for the uh, Hubson Zeno and the Hubson Zeno Pro, and they have a new one that's getting ready to release here in, uh, very soon, uh, if not already, for the DJI Mavic Mini, and. Uh, They've made one for the Femi X8 SE. So I have this case. I've purchased it for my Mavic, my Mavic Pro, my uh, my Hubson Zenos, and now I've got it for my Femi X8 SE, and soon I'll get one for the Mavic Mini. Uh, I really love their cases because these are just lightweight. They make them as compact as they can, but still hold as much as possible, and they're waterproof and they just look good so <laughs> but here's how i use it you've got the quad you have the controller two battery holders here and two battery holders here but i put my parabolics in there um so that's been that that, that was really you know nice handy useful way to use the spare battery holes because i only have two but i use the extra slots for my parabolics and I'll show you those, but then you have your charger, and then you just have a spot here for your accessories, however you want to use those. The nice thing about this is it also allows you to keep your sticks on. The Femi X8 SC controller sticks, they unscrew, and then they stow within the controller itself, but you can also leave them on. I prefer to leave them on because if I remove those sticks, I am, I am sure to lose them, so I leave them on. But here's the quad, and we'll take it out. And it holds it pretty nice and snug. In here is all nice, soft foam, which is always good. But on top, you have a good hard foam. So the top doesn't give real easy, but the inside does. And that's what you want to hold your quad. You don't want something hard squeezing up against it, something soft that it can form to. So the other good thing is with my Femi X8 SE, you're all familiar with this. This is the gimbal protector that it comes with in the packaging uh, that we all use as a gimbal protector because that's the only thing they send it with. Uh, but you can ditch that and get you something like that. This is by far, so far, the best cover I've seen. They make it in a solid white and they make it in the clear. I really like the clear, so that's the one I went with. But the good thing is it sticks out a little bit and it still fits in within this case very nicely. So I will uh, provide you a link for that cover as well. And uh, it's real easy. It snaps on really tight, but you unsnap it and then just make sure you hook it on the back bottom here. I think I got it not looking and then you just pull up and it snaps so it hooks on back here snaps up top real easy holds the camera protected and the gimbal protected and looks good too so like I said that fits within the case one thing you want to remember when you're putting these in the cases is make sure your props aren't like off to the side because when you go and put it in the case, when you're pushing it down, your props are going to catch and then you'll end up maybe bending them or breaking them. So anytime you have these cases, always bring your, your, your propellers in, then put it in the case and they're well protected. So that's the quad and now the controller. It holds it really nice and snug, but we have the sticks on. Normally you can store them right here, but I leave them on because obviously we have room for them. And uh, that way I do not lose them. So I'm going to leave this up a little bit and show you my parabolics. 
but here's the battery slots you have four of them here then you can leave one in the quad so that's five batteries I have I have two batteries and then I carry my parabolics and I put those in the uh, spare battery slots and just to show you those and I'll give you a link for those these are the best parabolics I've found this is my third set that I've tried and I like them because look they just slide on real easy they don't squeeze or mark up the antennas like a lot of them do I haven't used these yet but I just got them and they fit perfect so you would normally tilt them up like that you can see I still have the sticker on it so obviously I haven't used them I haven't peeled the clear foam off of, or film off of them yet but they fit really nice they go on super easy so I tried 3d printed ones I tried other ones that claimed they work for the Femi X8SE and so far these are the best and if you want to store them another way you can simply just slide it like that and put them in a backpack or whatever you want I keep them apart and I just store them over there so those I will give you a link to and then this just slides down in there and your sticks are still protected so like I said you have four battery slots and for me I just put my parabolics in there into the battery slots and slide them down like that here we have the charger over here it holds the whole charger and all the cord so the whole plug cord everything is in here it's nice and deep holds it very well and then here I keep my accessories I've got my cable I've got spare props I just keep a couple of them and then for the Femi I have to keep a pair of pliers or needle nose I'm sorry uh, because if you own a Femi X8 SE you know it's very hard to get the SD card out of this sucker so I keep a pair of these little needle nose with me and that way I can pull the SD card out whenever I need to so I don't keep long fingernails so this works best for me and, and another thing you can do is you could put you could wrap tape on your SD card so you have a, a tug, a tail to tug on, um, but I'll just keep those and that's how I do it. And then right here you have a big slot here and a big slot here. It's hard to see. I don't know if you can really tell, but it holds an SD card, a full size XD, SD card, uh, which you would not need with the quad. but. Um, if you have the, uh, S the, the micro SD card adapter, then you would put that in there. And then you have a small slot right beside it for your, S your micro SD. And then you have another large one and another small one here. So you can hold two micro SDs and then two of the larger or use your adapter. But one of them, I keep the prop tool. This is the little allen wrench prop tool to change your props i keep that inside there and that's that so the only other thing to really show you is the back pocket and we'll, we'll slide on up here and with this back pocket it's a mesh but like all their cases it's a nice padded foam so whatever's in there is protected so when you close it and you hit up against the antennas or something or the contents within the case, it's not going to hurt what you have in here. So it's nice and foamy, absorbent, and still breathes. But I keep my ND filters in there. I don't have them with me right now, uh, but I'll give you a link to those as well. They, there's some good ND filters for the um, Femi X8 SE. But uh, one thing I do have in here that I use is my sunshade. And this is one that another thing I've tried, I can't tell you, I've tried four or five different sunshades and I never found one that I really liked that was compatible 
with multiple drones and this one is so all you do with this one and it's nice also because it's magnetic it shuts and seals magnetically but you just open it up like this you slide your phone underneath these bands and then your phone's going to stick out just a little bit this is this holds my uh, large phone which is the uh, iPhone 11 uh, Pro Max so it holds that the phone sticks out a little bit enough to where it can still go into the holder and this works with several of my controllers so uh, this is another one I really like I can't remember where I got it but I'll look and I'll supply the link for that as well and you just zip this up and uh, that's it so that is the case for the Femi X8SE from Drone Pit Stop and um, for all my quads I I love this case uh, again because it's waterproof it's still strong it's tough and durable uh, yet very lightweight and uh, you know I've got it for several of my quads now and I am no affiliate of Drone Pit Stop but uh, I do love their cases, so if I find something I really like, I, I tend to uh, bring, it, bring awareness to it and share it with others. So that's my case, and I'm sticking to it. Hopefully uh, this is something that you like, and uh, some of the accessories, uh, maybe those are useful for, uh, to you. So um, give a thumbs up for the video, and if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell for future content and uh, we'll catch you on the next video thank you very much for watching and take care